everyone welcome back to the channel hope you're having a great October so far I'm getting closer to Halloween and it's been a few days since I've done a figure related video I've been busy doing other stuff so I needed to come in here tonight get something filmed and up on the channel I'm waiting for some stuff that I'm gonna review for you for Halloween uh, but in the meantime I'm just gonna get some of my favorite horror pieces off the shelves here put them on the desk and talk to you about them and show them in some nice lighting so coming up some of my favorite horror pieces at the moment in my collection. Uh, drop a like on the video for me, subscribe to the channel, and follow me on Instagram at DeanKnight333. Enjoy the video. Now this is from one of my favorite werewolf movies of all time. I've reviewed it on the channel. Everything that I'm showing you has already got its own review on the channel, but not with this camera necessarily. Uh, just about a year ago, something like that, I got this Canon 90D camera and it's just great for filming stuff like this. So I recently watched this movie about oh, Saturday and uh, I watched it with my girlfriend who'd never seen it before and she liked it but this has always been one of my favorite werewolf designs and it was Slasher Junkie on YouTube who helped me get this and I wouldn't have been able to get it if not for him so thank you so much Slasher Junkie go check him out on YouTube it was a exclusive San Diego Comic Con and uh, yeah just absolutely love this film I will just get it out of the box and just let you see it rotating on the base. But lovely packaging, displays really well in the box. Classic Howling film poster on the back. If you haven't seen The Howling, it's one of the best werewolf movies there is. I go back and, you know, back and forth between this and American Werewolf in London. I guess American Werewolf in London has to take it, you know, it's just a, such a great film. But I am more of a fan of the biped werewolves on their hind legs walking upright. I just think it's terrifying. Whereas American Werewolf London, you know, that's a quadruped, um, you know, on all fours, hound from hell type situation, which is still equally pretty much as terrifying. But just the werewolves in The Howling were so mean and cruel. And in The Howling, when the person transforms um, into the werewolf, they're still in control of what they're doing. Uh, so they can really mess with you and, and terrify you before they finally decide to take you out. Uh, whereas when David Kessler in American World for London would transform, he'd kind of just disappear and wake up the next day and have no clue what he did until he read the papers or saw the news. And I just think it's, you know, like dog soldiers as well, uh, like the howling, you know, when the person transforms, they're still in control behind the eyes of the beast. <laughs> all right, here it is, rotating on the Redeem base. Get a look at all the details, check out the pose as it turns. It's a really nice pose. It's by PCS Collectibles, by the way. And they made a much bigger version of this, uh, which was, you know, like a big quarter scale statue, probably polystone or, or something like that. Whereas this is just like a plastic small version of it, but really great sculpt. I mean, I love it. It's got a pretty obvious seam on the back of the uh, the neck, but I don't know if we're going to be able to. <sighs> yeah, you can kind of see it there as it comes around. It's a bit more obvious from the other side. But all in all, it's just a really nice little tribute to one of the best werewolf movies ever. You know, you got your little workstation or whatever, and you just have this nice, small, manageable piece. Yeah, just a little bit bigger than like a NECA figure, that kind of thing. I'll give you a size comparison in a minute next to a Ultimate Michael Myers NECA figure or something you can see. But I love it. I love the movie. Love these werewolves. Absolutely terrifying. And I don't know how easy it is to come by one of these these days. But it's definitely going to be always one of my most treasured horror pieces in the collection. I do have a custom 1-6 scale Eddie Quest uh, werewolf coming soon, hopefully in time for Halloween, so I can get the videos up for you. So I look forward to that. It's going to be an absolutely just incredible custom 1-6 scale howling werewolf coming up soon. So it's not the same scale as NECA stuff, because the werewolf should be much bigger than this Michael Myers NECA figure, but they are basically the same height as far as displaying them, pretty much. So I'm not sure what scale this is, but that's how it looks next to a NECA figure. All right, we'll move on to another one of my favorite horror pieces, which, you know, just an honorable mention, this is one of them as well. I won't be showing this any more than this in the video, but yeah, this Halloween 2 Ultimate Michael Myers figure, it's very, very good, as is just to the left of me, the um, retro cloth version. That's also another one of my little favorite pieces. Those are just a really nice piece. That's a great figure. Nice coveralls. Slightly bigger figure with actual material. 
coveralls as opposed to the ultimate uh, plastic look. Alright, let me choose something else, probably a 1-6 scale figure now. Now I've got them both on the desk, but I wouldn't say the Halloween Kills is one of my favourite horror pieces. I'll go into that in a minute, but the um, yeah, the one that is, is this one, the 2007 Rob Zombie Michael Myers figure. And that's a completely custom piece. Another reason for showing it is because it's next to a stock, you know, body, but I have modified the tots, head sculpt and coveralls. You know, I've just repainted everything and weathered it up a fair bit, but it's still on the original body. And that's still the original coveralls, just weathered. Um, and they should have made the James Jude Courtney Myers figures taller because he's six foot three. But Tyler Main is almost seven foot. And they showed a prototype for an upcoming TOTS 1-6 scale Rob Zombie Michael Myers figure. And I couldn't really tell because the only picture I saw, he wasn't next to any other figures. But he didn't look as big as he needs to be. It could be wrong. But I really do hope they have, you know, come up with a new body for the Tyler Main Michael Myers figures. What is the point of doing this if you're not going to do it right? You know, you got to make sure that the figure is taller than the rest of the Michael Myers figures that they've already put out. They should have done it with... James Duke Courtney, they didn't, but they need to do it with Tyler Main for sure because he's he's the tallest man, he's the biggest, the most intimidating. I've always said the one I'd least like to have coming after me because he was absolutely brutal. But I really do hope that Todd's give us a nice tall body for the Tyler Main Myers figures because James Duke Courtney here, six foot three, should be taller than this in one six scale, and Tyler Main almost seven foot, something like that. You know, should be this height. This is an accurate height for a 1-6 scale Tyler Main. It's a very big piece. And as I've mentioned in a previous video, the reason I didn't change the body on this Halloween Kills Tots figure was because I couldn't get the zip undone on his coveralls, so I just weathered them and bloodied them up, but I couldn't get that damn zip undone. It would undo to a certain point, about where the bottom of the pockets are, after that, I, just, I tried, you know, just in case there was a thread kind of in the, the zip stopping it from coming down, but it just wouldn't budge, and I was worried that I'd end up destroying the coverall zip, and that would really pee me off, because he wasn't cheap. So he's just stuck on his stock body, not being the right height. I try to put him on a taller base if I can help it, but it just kind of bugs me. So, I don't see that ever being one of my favourite pieces in the collection, but I'm glad I have a 1-6 scale Halloween Kills Michael Myers. But this definitely is one of my prized possessions. It took... This is just a history to it, because I remember, same as a lot of folks out there, and I feel bad for them, because I know how daunting it is when you first discover this, this world of the 1-6 scale, or this side of the 1-6 scale hobby, you know, with the completely custom, you know, figures where the head sculpt is made by one guy, Maybe it's painted and haired by another guy, someone else does the coveralls, someone else does the knives. And then you have to figure out how to get your accurate boots, be they custom or probably just, you know, from a different figure that exists out there that has a similar look. But I remember those early days watching the early Ones Customs videos, because this is a Ones Customs head sculpt. And just being completely baffled as to how I go about getting one of these and then how do I get the coveralls and and all that stuff and I know it's intimidating at first but just watch enough videos I've done plenty uh, in almost 17 years of doing these videos on the channel there's plenty of stuff to watch if you go back dig deep on my sort of I hate using the journey word because it's really overused but it kind of is so my you know journey as a Myers collector and customizer and builder of figures from different artists work like the coveralls here are very accurate, they're by Tanila's Customs and I repainted them and heavily weathered them and bloodied them up and it's really nasty looking. Shadow Fergo on Instagram made the knife, movie accurate knife, absolutely beautiful metal and wood. And the, uh, well it's just a beautiful looking piece but that nameplate down there that's just a magnet from Etsy, Sinister Gifts, make that. Uh, forget what boots he's got on but that's one of my absolute prized possessions right there. You know, say what you want about the Rob Zombie Halloween movies, as I've said before on the channel, it was the 2007 first Halloween movie by Rob Zombie that got me collecting Michael Myers stuff. I was always aware of him, it was always, you know, like Freddy, Pinhead, Jason, all those guys, always aware of Michael Myers. Uh, but it was, you know, just because of the age I was, the friend that I saw it with, 
you know we used to get together every like couple of a couple of times a week and just get really high and drunk and watch movies like devil's rejects and all kinds of stuff and then one day he came around with the because he worked in a video shop at the time and he'd always bring around random videos after his shift uh, or dvds and one day he came around with this and he was really excited he said dude i got the new halloween movie and i was like oh sick so we started watching that and i can't remember exactly what happened but i just started wanting to really collect something of this version of myers i just thought it would be really cool i knew there was a NECA figure uh, which i got over there the quarter scale one they also made a seven inch scale but i repaired that and repainted it so that's been customized um but yeah that's it's just it's nice full circle to finally i mean i've had this piece for many years now but it was a long road to get to something like this i'm glad that everyone's going to get a chance to own one thanks to tots now making them but like i say i hope they make them the right height we'll move on to something else now just take a quick look at this masterpiece I reviewed it recently on the channel so it's not been that long since I've shown it but what an incredible piece I think it's one of the best one six scale figures ever made period one of the best and it's Nosferatu by Caustic Plastic uh, check out the review and I think I did a showcase video as well with different poses and the fancy lighting and all that stuff but just absolutely amazing it's been a lot of fun watching everyone's reviews as they started to receive these and just seeing everyone just be so happy with it uh, it's an amazing amazing piece but I just wanted to give him a quick little look at because he's definitely one of my favorite horror figures now the amazing Kessler Wolf by Necker the ultimate Kessler Wolf from American Werewolf in London it's one of their best pieces I think and very much just much needed or so many fans of the movie craving something like this and wondering if something like this would ever happen and when it did it couldn't have happened in a better way uh, check out the review because I put him in a diorama and it's pretty awesome looking I think there's another diorama video where I put him in a house kind of coming up someone's staircase it's really creepy uh, a few videos I've done on this one but just look at that work I mean I added the blood but I'm just looking at his eyes really thinking how good the paint job is on them it came with um, the other head sculpt as well but just an amazing figure and I hope that NECA will do a howling werewolf or you know I can only dream but the dog soldiers werewolf that's my favorite werewolf movie folks if you haven't seen it I know those of you that have heard me say it are sick of me saying it but I'll just say it for anyone who doesn't know uh, that is the film poster for dog soldiers and that is my favorite horror movie even over Halloween and all that stuff so if you haven't seen it, definitely check that out. And let me know what you think. Come back in the comments and let me know. But yeah, that's definitely one of my favorite pieces in the collection when it comes to horror. I think Necker did such an amazing job with this. Well, seeing as we are talking about some of my favorite horror stuff, there's always going to be a fair bit of werewolf action going on. So I just mentioned my favorite horror movie, Dog Soldiers. This is the only officially licensed Dog Soldiers figure that was ever made. And this was by Sota Toys. I think it's the only official one. It's got to be because I would have, you know, I would have heard about the other ones by now. So um, this one's all packaged up, which is quite hard to find these days. They go for a lot of money on eBay. And I got lucky with this one. I paid 60 quid for it a good few years ago because I just had a feeling I should keep one sealed. It's my favorite horror movie and I love the werewolves. Uh, I can't believe these actually exist. It's just so cool. Because so many people don't know about Dog Soldiers, but the fact that there is an officially licensed, really good figure out there, uh, really is awesome. So here's the grey version, which is like a bloody variant. I think this was like a Tower Records exclusive. And I got loads of spare parts from all the previous versions I owned. I glued this one in place because they do get a bit top heavy and just over time tend to lean forward and would just break. So I glued this one so that that won't happen. And I'm keeping this one packaged up so it'll always be safe. But Sota Toys uh, became another company. I forget now, sorry, because it's off the top of my head. But yeah, this was the last or one of the last figures uh, that they did. And then unfortunately Sota Toys were no more, but they did uh, become some other company. So uh, others out there might know more. I'll just let you see some of the other stuff that was coming soon. Or maybe this actually was the last 
bunch of figures because I do have a Jeepers Creepers 2 figure by them uh, which is somewhere around here uh, but yeah they were doing Leprechaun, Reanimator, Jeepers Creepers 2 and Tremors that's really nice there's the credits let's give these people some some shine because they all did such amazing work so yeah there's the pumpkin head that was Mark and Irene sent me that. That's the Salt of Toys Mega Scale Pumpkin Head and his little dinky. Yeah. But yeah, there is the uh, picture of the Dog Soldiers Werewolf. I mean, look at that. That's awesome. And Legend Swampy. I've shown this all so many times on the channel, so I feel like I'm just repeating myself. But there you go Tower Records exclusive Grey and Bloody Werewolf. That's this one right here. All right, moving on. I absolutely adore my life-size Chucky. Um, I should have actually rechecked my video. I think Tots made this. This is Trick or Treat Studios, right? Um, but yeah, this is... Who made this one? Oh, damn it. Mezco, I think. But that's an amazing Charles Play 2 Chucky right there. That's, a, that's just an incredible piece. Look at the head sculpt on that. They captured it 100%. I absolutely adore that piece, but I love this one too. It kind of took me all back again I just when I got up to choose something else I didn't get up with the intention of picking up a Chucky thing at all um, and I just looked down at him he was on the carpet sitting there and I just thought okay let's put you in the video because you are definitely one of my favorite horror pieces in the collection now he looks incredible but he doesn't actually speak because uh, that's not something that's in my version Hi, I'm Chucky and I'm your friend to the end Hi -ho. <laughs> oh Okay, uh, I was just messing with you. Um, this is a little voice box thingy that I got on uh, Etsy or eBay, one of them. Hey, wanna play? It's pretty cool. Hi, I like to be hugged. He likes to be hugged. Um, so I got Art the Clown down as well because I was just getting the thumbnail. And that's another one of my prized possessions. Waited a long time, well, it felt like a long time from you know my discovery of Terrifier to uh, an official figure being released. Not too many custom you know, Terrifier pieces out there that I've seen, a few bits, and I do have something on the way that's custom. Um, I really can't wait to get that and show it to you. It's pretty much 1-6 scale, I think, but it is Art the Clown, and very unique piece. But not much in the way of custom stuff out there, so thank you to Trick or Treat Studios for making this. I mean, I bloodied this up. They mostly come clean. Uh, there is a bloody version, uh, Slaughter Edition or something they call it, but yeah, I bloodied this one up myself and I've done it a few times for some friends and it's always fun. But I have a clean version as well, and I showed them both recently on the channel and there's obviously the original reviews and pose sessions and photography sessions and dioramas, plenty of Art the Clown, 1-6 scale content on the channel, check it out. But I absolutely love this Chucky doll. It's amazing. It looks so good. It's perfect. I love that one too. That just looks so real and evil. Still need to go in and uh, add some effects and weathering and blood to the, the wound there with the knife plunged into it at the wrist. It just doesn't look that good, but I can do that. Keep forgetting too many uh, dishes in the washer. I do love my 1-6 scale ghost face from part 6 and my heavily modified and customized Trick or Treat Studios Dick Warlock Michael Myers from Halloween 2 but he does have custom Yunsil coveralls that I've weathered and done the necessary you know things to that to make it look a bit more movie accurate bullet holes and the the blood is a lot of fun to do I think the holes are already there if I remember correctly, and then I just went in and bloodied them up. And you've got the Trick or Treat Studios head sculpt, which I repainted. The hair and the mask itself. Still need to do the Blood Tears one. I haven't repainted that. Because the Blood Tears are so good. But the actual, the rest of the paint job's not fantastic. But the, like I say, the Blood Tears are done so well. I'm worried about screwing that up. So I may leave it as is. But absolutely amazing coveralls by Yunsil. 
again reviewed this on the channel just the realism to it oh and you've got the real metal shadow fergo scalpel as well just to make it even more accurate uh, and the ghost face figure that's the darko customs scream six mask but on the sideshow one six scale ghost face figure and we've got the old hot toys shotgun there beautiful so I love these two I love everything everything in this room I only collect stuff that I really really want and I'm just choosing certain things that I'm feeling tonight uh, it could be a completely different video if I did it yes uh, yesterday it could have been yeah or tomorrow <laughs> and it would be absolutely insane if it all kicked off in this side of the room decided to take on this side of the room when I close that door and leave <laughs> who would win and you got some pretty serious opponents over here some big guys too including Shin Godzilla a few bat people but you have got the might of the Godzilla collection and some prehistoric action and more Godzilla and then all the superheroes oh Buzz and Buddy well forget about it that's over the left side wins doesn't need Darth Vader or Cobra there's uh, Deadpool back there Joker Batman Clint Eastwood yeah yep if it was all to hit the fan that would be something Uh, so I'm going to leave it at that for now folks, but just a couple of little honourable mentions. I have to put Freddy in there somewhere. I do have different versions of Freddy, but this is probably one of my absolute favourites. It's by NECA and it's the ultimate version of Freddy from part 2, which is my favourite look for Freddy. Freddy's revenge. He just looked truly evil. And it's my dream one day to have an, you know, just an amazing Freddy's revenge. Part 2, 1 6 scale Freddy. For the collection. One day. Until then, we've got some pretty good NECA ones. Got the quarter scale version as well. There it is. Down there. Beside the Art the Clown t shirt. Um, so, obviously, there's loads of stuff. I have to be so careful. There's loads of stuff on the floor. It's a mess. Um, but obviously, I didn't show stuff like the Perfect 78 because I've already done that recently on the channel. Um, the Clean Art the Clown and various other figures. I mean, like I said, I love all this stuff. I can't get everything down, um, but I love everything here. But I just wanted to get something up on the channel, and I will be back with you real soon with some real good stuff. So I hope you're having a great October. We'll do a live stream before Halloween. I'll let you know about that on Instagram, a bit closer to the time. Just getting through the masks at the moment, and I'll be back with you soon. And obviously, that uh, pumpkin head there, and the dog soldiers custom figure in the back, and that Medicom uh, alien. They're some of my absolute favourites as well. There's just, you know, there's too much to put in this video. I don't want it to be too long. Alright, I'll see you soon. Take it easy. Bye-bye.